Hey guys, Sarah and Leo here bringing you another So Craftastic Christmas tutorial. He doesn't want to be up here. <laughs> Bye, bud. I think we might be calling the series Snow Craftastic because that is the coolest name suggestion that I have heard so far. Today's video is for you duct tape lovers, especially because I'm showing you how to make these really pretty duct tape trees that you can use as a centerpiece or just a room decor piece to put on a desk or a dresser, whatever you want. You can make these any color you want and they are just so cute you can leave them up all winter if you would like to. Also this is an extra special video, not only is it a duct tape video, but it's a duct tape collab with Lindsay from The Frugal Crafter. I discovered her channel a few months ago and I really love all the watercolor paintings and the stamp making. Um, projects that she does. She goes into a lot of different techniques that I don't discuss on my channel and I haven't really gotten into. So for those of you who love arts and crafts of all sorts and you want to learn more about those things, plus she has tons of other DIYs, just a ton of random things. So if you want to check out her channel and her video, which is a really cute Christmassy duct tape trash bin that you can put in your car or wherever you need a little trash bin to go, maybe the side of your bed even. Go ahead and check out those. Everyone who's here from Lindsay's channel, a special welcome. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and you want to see a new one every week because I post Crafty Friday every Friday, which is a DIY of some sort, and I also try to post throughout the week whenever possible. Now, let's get into the duct tape tree tutorial. <laughs> Start off with a thin piece of cardboard or some cardstock paper. This will be used to form a cone shape for the tree. Apply tape to hold the unicorn horn like shape together. I used some scrap pieces that I have from previous projects. And then you're going to trim the bottom to make the base even so it stands up. You can probably already tell that my voice sounds different than usual. I lost it last Friday, so I lost my voice for about six days, and three of those I couldn't talk at all, maybe for like 10 seconds at a time, and I could only whisper otherwise. So I've been drinking a lot of tea and hot water with honey and soup, but um, I'm doing okay. Uh, just bear with my creaky, raspy voice, please. Now grab the duct tape that you want to use. For this tree, I'm just using one color, but you can use as many as you want. You can make a rainbow tree or just a bunch of different colors scattered all over, kind of like the other tree I have. So I laid down a few long strips on a cutting board, and I'm using an X-Acto knife to trim those into a bunch of two-inch pieces. If you don't have a cutting board, it's okay. You can also use scissors instead. The non-stick kind work a lot better than just regular scissors, but you can use whatever you have. Depending on the height and width of your tree base, the amount of the two inch rectangles that you'll need will vary and it will also depend on how close you plan to stick them on once you get started. But I'm using 50 of this size total right now. You'll need more later of smaller sizes, but let's just get on with this. So as you can see, I folded some of them prior to filming because there's a lot of them. And to form the pentagon shape, it's really easy. All you're going to do is flip over the tape and fold two corners down like so, and this is on the sticky side. Repeat this for every single one until they all resemble a baseball home plate if you're familiar with baseball or an upside down house. After you have completed a bunch of those, decide if you want the points to hang off the bottom of your tree like they do on this first one that I made. If you do, just go ahead and start sticking on the pieces now. If not, you're going to cover the bottom of the tree cone with tape just a little bit and then stick on the pieces so the points line up with the bottom and don't hang over. Each time you stick on a point, be sure to overlap it with the previous one a little bit. I'm placing five points in each row, so five points around in this first row. With the other tree, I did six for the first row and all the others as well. So now for the second row, I'm going to place the point between these two pieces here, and I'm going to continue doing this all the way around. 
again I'll have five points per layer on this tree. The more that you do and the closer you stick the layers to each other, the more points total you'll need to make the tree and the longer it will take, of course. Once I'm about halfway up the cone with the 50 points placed already, I'm going to start using one and a half inch pieces to fold triangles instead of the two inch ones, so they're just a little bit smaller. Fold them the same exact way as before and then continue to stick the point in between the two previous points on the tree like this. I used 25 pieces that are this size, the one and a half inch size, which means that five complete layers were formed with these one and a half inch pieces. You could do more of this size and it would probably save you a little bit of time at the end because then you don't have to make a ton of tiny, tiny ones, but I decided to move on to smaller pieces now. So here I'm slicing the one and a half inch pieces in half and I'm folding the triangle points out of those. It's up to you which end gets folded, but I prefer to do the shorter side like this. With these, I stuck another five layers on, that means 25 more pieces. And here you can see that I already stuck those all on and now I'm using super tiny pieces like I mentioned. And I'm going to use those to finish the top of the tree. I made 55 of these really tiny pieces total and covered the very tip top so no paper is showing and you can't see the hole at the top either. Finally, once that's all done and your tree is complete, you can decorate it any way you wish to add a little bit of snazz and pizzazz to your decoration. You could attach a bow or a snowflake sticker to the top like I did, or maybe use a pom-pom on top instead, wrap around a string of beads, or glue on rhinestones or mini buttons. The possibilities are endless, just use your creativity here. If you do create a duct tape tree, I want to see that rhymed, so use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram, Twitter, or Crafty Amino to show me. Also, don't forget to check out my Christmas and duct tape playlist, especially if you're new to my channel. I have a lot more awesome projects there, and the link will be in, in those, I mean, and the link to those will be in the description box with everything else. I feel like I talked a lot more in this uh, voiceover footage now that my voice is gone, go figure. But yeah, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know if I had a touch of laryngitis. I just know that it was kind of from sinus drainage that kept getting worse over the weeks and then I just couldn't talk. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget, like I said at the beginning, to check out Lindsay's duct tape video on the duct tape trash bin, which is super cute. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and you want to see more because that's just the cool thing to do and it's Christmas time almost and that would be a good gift. <laughs> Another good gift would be this shirt that I, it's a sweatshirt I got from Target in the guys section and it's just cats on a sweatshirt. Uh, yes, please. Before I close out the video, I want to let you guys know that I did post other duct tape tutorials that are holiday-ish in the past. So I have this beautiful wreath and there's a little one. There's a bow that I didn't attach to it. This one's looking a little rough because I kind of squeezed it in a Ziploc bag and it got wrinkled and stuff. So there's this and then also a couple years ago I made a duct tape gift bow which is really pretty. So now I'm going to rest my voice for a little bit while I edit and I hope to see you guys back here next week for another crafty video here on So Craftastic. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you soon. Bye. Ready? Look up, buddy. This tutorial. Oh my gosh, that totally ruined intro.